All right, Rob Maeda here now. And Rob, I mean, does the weather have anything to do with these guys? What do we think? Well, we're watching for changes in species that come yeah. in. Sometimes with El Nino types uh, seasons, we'll be watching that. There's a potential we might see some impacts on agriculture related to weather. And right now, one of the things we're going to be seeing as we go into the next few days is a bit of a warming trend that's going to take us through the middle part of the week. Right now, 78 degrees in San Jose. Not too bad as we wrap up the weekend. We had near 80 degree temperatures earlier and currently Livermore 89 degrees did get close to 90 a bit earlier this afternoon. Still that haze in the air too. We'll talk about the smoke outlook as we head over the next couple of days in about one minute from now. And there's more of those hazy skies in Oakland at 71 degrees and into San Francisco, a cool 64 at the sea breeze. Uh, pretty healthy for the Sunday late afternoon and evening. So 60s and 70s Bayside, Fairfield, low 90s right now. We do have those onshore winds, but these will start to taper off as we get towards Tuesday and Wednesday. But in the meantime, still a little bit of fog there on the coast. And you'll see local areas of low clouds for the morning and then more sunshine as we head into the afternoon. Tomorrow's highs running a little bit warmer than what we saw today. So morning temperatures starting off in the 50s. Uh, if you look into the inland East Bay tomorrow, we'll begin to see numbers climbing towards the mid 90s around Fairfield, low 90s in the Morgan Hill and San Martin and low 90s up towards Santa Rosa. Now we did talk about the wildfire smoke, the haze in the skies. There's going to be a bit of a wind pattern shift that takes place by Tuesday that I think does bring a chance of seeing more of the smoke dropping into the North Bay and down through the Sacramento Valley. So stay tuned Tuesday and Wednesday. We may have more of those smoke advisories as we approach the middle part of the week and we'll also see the warmest temperatures of the week also setting up for Tuesday and Wednesday. Notice inland mid to upper 90s from Concord over to Fairfield, low 90s in the North Bay and around Morgan Hill. San Francisco and Oakland temperatures getting a jump too. by Wednesday, the warmest day of the week, upper 70s to mid 80s in Oakland, 90 in San Jose and upper 90s out towards Solano County. But by Thursday, things start to cool down and this leads to an interesting part of the forecast. Let's just say that for next weekend area of low pressure dropping down. That's going to lead to cooling here. But look at that. There's a chance of some showers for parts of Northern California, Pacific Northwest, enough that it is registering and some of those long range weather models late week and next weekend. So stay tuned. We know we're going to trend cooler and breezy in that seven day forecast as we approach next weekend. So warm days ahead or warmer days ahead all the way through Wednesday. And then we cool down quite a bit as we head towards next weekend and Stay tuned Saturday. There may even be a chance of a few showers <laughs> lurking out there. Speaking of El Nino and seasonal changes, sometimes we see the window for early season showers more frequent as we start September. And just like that, that will be the start of September. Right. Wow. They're saying summer's over. For, Not quite for a little yet. Bit. Yeah. <laughs> that day. Got it coming midway. Yeah. All right, Rob. Thanks.